Hey, what's up guys? Devin here with Backcountry Exposure. Man, it, uh, if it's not obvious enough, I have an addiction to tents. <laughs> and I want to talk about four different shelters today that are one-person shelters that you may not be familiar with or have ever seen before. And uh, just to share some love on some unique brands out there that are sharing and creating really cool designs for the backcountry that may not be available uh, in mainstream big box stores like REI or even on Amazon, uh, for example. So what I've got here, again, is one-person shelters, single wall, double wall, freestanding, non-freestanding, all of that. We've got the Pretense Coastline, which is a classic A-frame style shelter. We've got Zero Gram Through Hiker 1P. We've got the Kylos Dragonfly tunnel style uh, 1P plus tent and the zero gram zero one pathfinder single wall uh, non-freestanding shelter as well. So why am I sharing these with you guys? Why did I take the time to set up four shelters and talk about uh, these various tents? Well, because of my love for unique gear, I like to share things that uh, are really cool and can be additional options for you to choose from that are not what everybody else is getting into, whether it's Z-Packs, Tarp Tent, Big Agnes, Sierra Designs, uh, any of those other brands, Marmot. I mean, it could be whatever. But these are shelters that are super functional and they are great, really well designed, really uh, well performing shelters uh, for the backcountry that maybe great options for you that you haven't even seen before. So that's why we're doing it. So let's talk about this shelter first. I'm gonna stay wide here for a minute, but we'll show you some close-ups as we're going through this discussion. This is the Pretense Coastline. This is a one-person, just classic A-frame style, non-freestanding shelter. So it does require trekking poles for you to pitch it. But what I love about this shelter is just the attention to detail. The guys that designed this have just thought about every little thing, even down to putting their brand on the line locks for the guy out points, as well as the types of clips that they're using. They're using a waterproof zipper on the outer tent and using monolite one ounce fabric, which is also on this particular tent here, which is really cool. We'll talk about that a little bit more. But using that instead of, you know, see a mesh for more breathability, but also really strong fabric uh, on the outer tent that uh, it's just a really cool concept. Now, the big D-shaped door on here opens up to give you lots of space into a one-person bathtub style uh, bug bivy type of shelter. At least that's what it feels like. It's not super roomy. I mean, most one-person tents are not super roomy, but it's very lightweight. I mean, you're roughly around 30 ounces for this particular shelter, but they are using just a classic no -a mesh on here, but it's nice to be able to open up this shelter and you can do it on both sides. There's only one door into the main uh, inner tent, but I can use a second trekking pole or a stick like I've got here and create this awning and just have really nice, even if there was a little bit of rain, I'd get really uh, good protection here, but it'll come down, close off really good. And the one downside of this shelter is there's no vestibule space. That's the big problem with a lot of these actually is you don't really have a vestibule that you're used to with more of your dome style shelters uh, or even things like the Z-Pax Duplex, for example. But really cool design, the fabric is awesome, nice and lightweight. And uh, I just can't like be more excited about this. I have not had an opportunity to use this tent out in the backcountry yet, but that'll happen soon uh, now that snow is melting and all that, and uh, I'm psyched about it. Let's move over uh, to this shelter here. This is the Zero Gram Through Hiker 1P. Now this is a semi freestanding tent. The biggest downside of this tent is its lack of ability to breathe and vent. You've got a outer tent that goes all the way to the ground, but what's cool about this is you've got your external pole that creates the structure for this. And so you can set this up like you would with a tarp or such and be able to do that in the rain. You could even lay it out, unzip real quick, throw your backpack in there and get all of your stuff nice and dry and keep it dry 
while you pitch the tent and keep the outer fly attached with the inner attached to it. Inner is also removable on this, but this particular tent is using the mono light material for the nocea mesh of the body of the inner. It's not quite as breathable as some other nocea mesh things that you get with like inner tents, for example, but the monolite material is uh, color matched to the body of the tent, which I think is really cool. It's a nice touch and it's a very strong, good breathable material. I mean, they're using this monolite material to make hammocks out of, which is really, really neat. This thing has a ton of space in it. You've got a little bit of vestibule space around this beak right here, which is nice. And then down here at the foot end, it's almost vertical. So you've got a ton, you've got a ton of good foot room in here. And my most recent backpacking trip uh, that I went out in the Uinta Mountains, I took this with me and just had a great experience with it, minus a lot of condensation buildup because the body of the tent does not sit very high off the ground. And once you're closed up on everything, this peak vent right here is the only venting that you have with this particular shelter. Let's move on to the Kylos Dragonfly 1P Plus. I do not know why they call this a plus because this is the smallest shelter of them all. And uh, I'm a little disappointed in the design aspect of how big the footbox is and the total length. This head and is a little bit steeper than I would normally like. And I mean, it's a tunnel style tent, so it's gonna be very great uh, performer in heavy winds, heavy rain. I mean, it is just really strong, but you don't have very much space here at the foot end. And of the four tents here, this is one that I was most looking forward to checking out and using, but even laying in here without a sleeping pad, my feet, which is a size eight foot, I have a size eight foot, my feet touch the outer tent uh, when you stick your feet straight up. And my face is basically right against the mesh of the inner tent and there's not a lot of space and I'm really concerned about condensation uh, developing pretty heavily in this tent. And there's just, you can see in the height aspect compared to all the others, minus this Pathfinder here, it, it just doesn't have the height that the other tents do, but for places where you are up on ridge tops and you've got really high wind and such, and you want just full coverage 360 degree, it's a good option. I mean, it's gonna really, really do a good job, but we're gonna test it out, we're gonna use it and uh, just enjoy everything about it. But the inner tent fabric is not a no mesh. It's actually like a really thin nylon material not seal nylon, but a ripstop nylon. And uh, that's nice, but there is a little bit of Nocea mesh uh, that you get in there for breathability. But it's a cool design, and I'm excited to finally have a tunnel style shelter that weighs very, very lightweight. I mean, it's under two pounds for this shelter. They're using Dyneema for this rod sleeve, uh, for the pole sleeve here. And that's a cool touch, just really strong material. It's really, really neat. I'm excited about this one. This is the Zero Gram Pathfinder 1. Uh, the Zero 1, I should say. This packs up super tiny, like the size of a Nalgene bottle, uh, even smaller. Uses two trekking poles to pitch. You've got a little bit of vestibule space here with a additional zipper that allows you to open up. So you've actually got two entrances that you can use to get into this shelter, which is nice. So I can jump in through here. I can get into this small vestibule space, which for a single wall shelter like this to have a little bit of vestibule space, similar to like what you've got here, it, uh, no, it's not as much space as like the coastline, for example, but you've got a little bit of gear storage where you don't necessarily have that with the coastline. But I'm nervous about this being kind of a sail. <laughs> You've got limited uh, ability to adjust and pull things nice and tight, and there's not a lot of ability for this to vent and breathe really good. It doesn't have any peak vents on it, that kind of thing, but it's also using this monolite material for this side door. Getting in and out of it isn't too bad. 
and you've got a lot of headspace, headroom here in the shelter. And so, I mean, for a through hiker, this could be a really good option if you're in a dry environment. I would not necessarily suggest this if you are in a super wet environment, but, and the color's pretty bold. <laughs> That's a bold color. <laughs> so here's the four various shelters that are one person shelters that uh, you may not have heard about before. And uh, I'm excited to share them with you guys. They're, they're cool. I'm excited to take them out onto the trail and uh, put them through the ringer. I've already been using this particular shelter. Review will come out on this one soon. This one of the four is probably my favorite right now, but it's also uh, the only one that I have used actively on the trail. Very excited about the pretense. You heard my grumblings about the Kylas. We'll see how that goes. And then the zero gram, uh, zero one, really cool shelter, but this is gonna need to be for the right application. So. Would love your guys' thoughts on these various shelters and uh, what you think about it. If uh, you have a personal favorite of what I've shown you here today, but these are tents that you may not have seen before and now you've seen them. So let me know what you think. Appreciate you guys watching today. If you are not subscribed to the channel, do subscribe to the channel. And uh, as always, I hope you have an awesome day. We'll catch you on the next video. See you later.